Right on fans, how we doing? Mr. A2G back again playing some more Durango Wildlands. How are we going guys? Okay, so um, a little bit of has um, happened since the last video. I've actually captured some more dinosaurs and we're going to um, go out and take them for a spin. So I want to take out uh, this little fella here. So I want to pop him in the bag. He's been moved to the bag and I do want to go out and visit a new island that we're uh, eligible to go to so we did rank up as well between videos so I've got that eligibility now to do so so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna see it I haven't actually looked at it myself um, so this will be the first time want to see what's there what we can get what type of dinosaurs that we can uncover all that sort of stuff so let's jump in let's set sail and we want to go over to the uh, temperate sea and we'll see what's around here so hopefully there'll be some interesting things but we'll see so it's got a three plus day lifespan on it which is cool 28 landmarks to find and we've got three additional islands so you guys will be able to do the little um little side quest for the island so you can move on to the next one and so on and so forth um depending if it's the same one as the tundra island as well um, will you know remains to be seen so like I said haven't been through this one yet but we're gonna check it out we might en end up doing a mission that sort of makes us go out into the area there to see exactly what's what and see what we can discover but also I want to see how the Raptor holds up as well uh, that we captured and also you know is it a better mode of transportation compared to um, the, the zebra uh, the zebra ceratops um, all right, let's see what she has to say. So there's a rumor that an abnormal radio waves were discovered around the archipelago. Uh, some survivors even believe their transmissions from Earth. We plan to investigate. Care to join us? Okay, cool. So that looks pretty interesting. And I have noticed through a couple of updates that the um, the game has gone through that they sort of changed the uh, the map as well. It used to be that you didn't see anything until you started running around. Um, from what I remember, of course. But now you can actually see a little bit of an outline there that you can sort of get a bit of an understanding of what it sort of looks like and you know what paths that you might want to take, you know, here or there. It all depends on you guys, I guess, at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm going to do the first thing and uh, we're going to release, well, not release, uh, let's form the bond with the raptor and let's summon our fella here. So he's not as high a level as what the Zebra Ceratops is, but um, he will do. I want to feed him as well. And that's the other reason why I brought all the meat. So hopefully he, you know, bees our friend, I guess. And he doesn't have to run out of any sort of um, health or anything like that. Or get tired or anything. Okay, so let's see oh well, this is actually much better much much faster than compared to other uh, animals that I've used so far so yeah I'm gonna be happy with that all right let's have a look and see what type of missions we have so uh, you only have to axe came saw conquered loyalties truest form and plant parenthood who do we go for first I'm guessing this is probably wanting to, um, us to, yeah, make some two-handed axes. I want one that sort of takes us into somewhere. Uh, cotton plant. Okay. Well, so if you gather branches from some of the local plants, alright, well, hopefully that sort of takes us out, which it does, perfect. So at least this way it gives us a bit of an, un, um, bit of a run-through. See what type of um island this is and hopefully we can see some new dinosaurs hopefully and if there's any we might be able to um capture some maybe who knows but as you can see we ooh, sort of a little bit off course there but let's get into it in further in there we go so i'm just going to zoom out just a little bit and if you guys could tell me the little white icon that's on on above my raptor here what does it mean? What is it? Is it that I'm not feeding it enough or does it need something for me to make it happy, I guess? Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, still learning the way how this all works. Oh, okay. So, Pavramiris, is that what it is? Uh, okay. Well, I can get all the meat there, so I might as well. 
Let's just grab what we can. Hopefully that person doesn't mind that I've taken uh, his or her meat. Okay, and that's the last one. That's all that we're going to take. And the bag, it's only got 30 volt there. But you know what, it probably means, you know, it makes sense. I mean, it's not a, a larger animal that you can have more of a, um, a storage compartment for. So, you know, is what it is. Oh, okay. So I've never seen red icons. So that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. There you go. So I don't know what type of other dinosaurs that we're going to meet here, but we'll, uh, we shall see. Just trying to work out how we get to the other side, I think. If we, yep, okay. Will we be able to stretch across the island? Looks like we can. I'm sure there would have been another way to do this on land, but that doesn't matter. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm going to persevere. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and hopefully... We, okay, we can't go any further, right, so let's retreat and hopefully we might have to scale up this way and, uh, okay, that looks like it takes us back to land, there we go, should have done that in the first place. Okay, so, what else, who are these guys? Are oh, they the same as before? So I'm just going to keep going through and... How far away are we? Oh, we're not too far away. Well, that's good. <clears throat> I think these are one of these little um, five second missions that you can do and then you can sort of, um, you know, ooh, what are you? Ooh, Stegosaurus is nice. Actually, oh, wow, look at that, over 5,000 HP. Yeah, definitely not. Warp Survival Knife, you know what, I might just take that. You know what, my theory is in this game, I don't know what you guys think about this. Um, when you see abandoned items dropped, do you guys uh, check them out? Do you disregard it or do you actually, you know, see what they are and um, take? So for me, depending on what it is, I don't know, I, I might just, you know, might help myself. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Well, may as well, I guess, at the end of the day, you may find something that you may not... Ooh, Oviraptor, okay. So these are high level Oviraptors? They are. Because I think I can actually capture an Oviraptor, so that I actually might do that. Wow, look at them all run. Okay. I don't want to get myself caught up in that anyway, but... Interesting. Yeah, it's a teddy bear. I've already got one of those. I'm not going to grab another one. I don't know what they're used for, to be honest. Um, okay, so... That's... Okay, oh, all these little guys. I think I've seen these before. So this, are they higher level? Who knows? Yeah, see, see something like that, I'm just gonna grab it. You know, I'm not gonna waste time and not worry about it because who knows, I might need it, especially if I run out of materials or if I don't have any uh, materials to create myself some armor in a pinch. I may as well just take that. Okay, so, who have we got over here? Okay, so let's just run over the crater. Okay, so cotton plant branch, that's what we need. Okay, so that's all we need from this. So that's a quick little mission. I probably should have um, accepted a couple of more missions, to be honest with you, but, you know, what do you do? So let's go back to camp. And let's go, whoop, no, no, no. Okay, so let's go drop off. Well, you have a big stick, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, drop off point, where are you? There you are. And let's drop that off. Cool. This amount of XP, everything in that. All right, so. Uh, let's see. So the Pavaminus, Pavaminus? Okay. So we'll, we'll start that mission. Uh, okay, bone saw, that should be enough to put those laid out. Okay, I'll we'll just start that mission. You know what, we'll, we'll start all missions and we'll just sort of crank out what we can, I guess. So 
the Pavo Minus. I think we did actually run by five of them, I think. We'll check it out. We'll see. Anyway, we've got a little guiding coordinate anyway, so it's not going to be too far of a run. Hopefully not. Just remove that. Yep, so about 120 meters. And decreasing. So we'll need to take one down, take their skull. Now, I have been reading some of the comments and some of you guys who have done this for a little while have sort of pointed uh, this out to me. So much appreciated guys, you know who you are, but um, all right, we're going to take on one of these guys. You do need decent stamina for this, if not great, you know, um, full a full stamina bar. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna eat this banana. And that should get me pretty much up to full. There we go. And let's go take down one of these guys here. So he's got 1500 attack. We'll see how we go with this. So I sort of worked out a little um, uh, way of sort of doing this as well. And whoop, it does take a bit of a punch on me. All right. Okay. And I don't think you can actually heal in this either, which is a bit of a pain. And I think he's, this is not going to go well for me, because look at his regeneration. This is actually quite brutal. And my raptor's not doing anything, he's just sitting there. And let's just quickly dodge his attack. And you know what, I'm going to end this combat now, because we are not um, clearly fit enough to take that down. I thought I had enough to, in me. I thought I actually crafted up a high uh, strength weapon to do that, but I guess not. I guess not at all. But, you know, while we wait for our health bar to increase again, I'm just going to eat something. Yeah, that should do a little bit, I think. There you go. So it's sort of... Um, that is sort of healing up a little bit quickly. Okay, so... So we're going to have to make a bone saw and a two-handed axe, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. So <clears throat> let's just go into tools. New weapon, I think, the bone saw. Well, that's a bone blade. Is a bone blade okay? So I need a large blade um, and a stick. Alright, so we'll do that. Okay, cool. We'll find some. Uh, We'll find some boulders, we'll chop some of them down and we shall do that. I don't know whether or not if there was a um, there was a dead one of these guys here not long ago, I'm not too sure if it's still here. Also if it's already been harvested, which I'm probably guessing that would be the case. But that's all good. I think I found some boulders, so let us take a couple of these. Well, eight seconds, so I think, you know, with higher, the higher zones that you go to, the longer everything sort of takes. Plus, this will also contribute to the, um, uh, the, uh, the zone, um, the, the zone mini quests, if you will. So, boulder gathering, so I'm getting the maximum amount of points with this as well, so you may as well just, I guess, do it all. Which is fair enough. I mean, you may as well. Okay. And, and you probably just drop what you don't need, I guess. Because I'm just going to go over to the next one and just take two more. I think it's going to be... 
because that should be enough. Okay, so that should be report that mission. Got the reward for that. We found an odd frequency that some might interpret as abnormal radio waves. The only question is now, uh, sorry, now uh, who would use that frequency and why? So, so we're going to be able to go to the next island. So we'll do that probably in the next video, and we'll see what that one's all about. And what I'm going to do now is we're just going to craft. Let's do a couple of these. And I'm going to need a branch, which I'm, I've got a tree behind me. So this should all work out just nicely. Now, I think I need a level 25, so I don't know how well this is going to go down. So I'm not too confident with this. I don't know how this sort of works, you know, like if there's a, a certain balance that needs to be made where you just seen there... That was like a, a level 32 branch and these were level 19 stones. How does that work? Um, you know, when you do craft something, th does the balance sort of adjust it dependent on... Um, well, max level is 19, so that's not going to happen. So I'm going to need to increase some sort of uh, skill level or even just increase my skill level overall by crafting more and more. So go into that. Let's go into weapon and tools. Okay. So I've got bone saw. I've got 14 points which I can sort of, um, you know, sort of invest in. Might as well do the, the, the nails which is decent looking um, attribute to gain. I've only got eight points to, to jump, uh, to pull in, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Okay, so we've got trimmed material, what is all that about? Okay, so that sort of contributes to your, um, to your clothing. Okay, so you've got a handicraft, I don't know what that will do. Okay, love for later work, that's interesting. Material craft, uh, crafting. Extended fabric. Okay, so that'll that allow us to do advanced crafting, I guess. And you got cooking. Really, not too much that I'm looking at there at the moment. And what have we got over here? So you got the the die, dying bench, the oven. Yeah. See, I'm not too sure what to. Oh, you know what? I do want to do that. Yeah, for sure. So I definitely need larger, um, larger storage boxes, for sure. Okay. And at least you can do budget repairing kits. That's something interesting. Got your house, windows. So tell me guys, when did, when did you guys think, or when did you guys think, or feel the need to do things like base building and things like that? So far right now, I have just got everything everywhere. Not, there's really not, not too much of anything happening, um, realistically. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm going to do with that. We'll, we'll see when the time comes if I need to start making up a, a shelter properly, you know. Um, but we'll see We'll see how we go. Or should I be doing it in like, in like a shared zone with other people in a clan or something? But let me know in the comments. You know what, we're probably going to leave it for here because from what I can gather right now, if I, I'm just going to quickly craft one of these things up because max level is 19, so I'm not going to be able to craft anything above level 19. That's the maximum level, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to keep crafting until the EXP above that goes up higher and then obviously we can um, uh, submit the, the quest back in because right now, yeah, the two-handed, well, sorry, it was the two-handed axe. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that in the first place. Why did I do that? A two-handed knife. Are you serious? I need a two-handed axe. Yeah, but even so, I need some. I need high-level materials, but also my, my max level is not there yet. So it's still not going to happen regardless of which way I look at it or do it. So I'm going to have to probably leave it here anyway, but I appreciate it. Appreciate always you guys watching in, tuning in, seeing what I get up to, um, you know, whether I fail or succeed, whichever you guys think I do. 
uh, always much appreciated but if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell as always like comment as always but anyway we will see you next time take it easy catch you next time